Who do we have on the line here? Let's see. Red button. Red button. Red button. Let's see who it is. <laughs> Hello? Can we help you? Yes, hi, Bobby. How are you? Yeah, who's that? This is uh, one of the promising young stars of the league. He goes by the name uh, David Azer. David Azer. He won the t-shirt. I know, I know you guys didn't expect any young callers. You know, you guys expect the veterans to take over the show, like usual. But uh, I just want to put my input here. Sure. Well, uh, what, what, before you, you win a t-shirt, what size are you? Uh, probably a small. Okay, small, you got it. So uh, enjoy the t-shirt. Yeah, what do you have on your mind? You're getting a first time, uh, full time job as a pitcher. You must be excited about that. <laughs> One thing, you certainly have the uh, the last name for the pitching department. Now we got to see if you can carry it through all the way and lead your team. And uh, I'm very impressed with you because you're confident and you've been wanting to do this. And I think you're going to succeed. And uh, and I hope the rest of the young, uh, talented players pull through this year. Yeah, and I'm actually going to make uh, a statement here that uh, may surprise people. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm going to say You made them live on the air here. We have over 2.2 million <laughs> viewers on YouTube right now. Um, so we will remind you of these quotes that next year you will be drafted as a top five pitcher. And this Don't year... Don't about it. Hold me to my statement and come to me at the end of the year. And uh, I think you all agree. All right. You We're expecting it, big things from you right now. Our uh, lines are lighting up. We got to go, David. Good luck. Have a good night. Guys. All right. Thank you. All right. Can we help you? Yeah, who's that? This is Jimmy Malak. How you doing? Hey, hey teammate! Teammate! What's up, teammate? Hey, my captain. What's up, man? <laughs> well, you're captain for now. Let's see how long this lasts. Exactly. Be. I love him. I love him. Wait how are you, Jimmy? What do you think so far? For the record, for the record, I don't know. You guys chose the wrong caller. I should have got that t-shirt, by the way. So I hope you guys have that on the control. Oh. We give them all we're we're going them. way over budget. We already gave away a t-shirt. That's much more than we gave away last year. <laughs> <laughs> like a decade. Whoever's in control, whatever, who's doing it. I'm an extra large. You know, I put on some wedding weight, you know. And uh, what else? It's a white teacher. Long sleeve, please. Yeah, well, you're a lot bigger than David Azer, so maybe we'll give it to you after all. So um, there it is. Uh, Jimmy, the winning team. The winning, the winning team right there. Yes. First of all, by the way, I, uh, I'm sorry to say that you guys made a mistake last year. With the same organization, well, uh, I think you guys made another mistake this year.
lot of guarantees from the phone lines today, Bob. Every person seems well, to be pulling in with a guarantee. You know what's great about the preseason? Everybody's uh, undefeated. Right. So everybody loves their team, and everybody thinks they're winning the championship. That's what makes it so okay, beautiful. Listen, listen, listen. It's going to be, let me tell you one thing. Wow, wow, all right. Okay. You're ready here for Jimmy A lot of humble alive. callers, a lot of humble callers. So I guess uh, it's safe to say you want to stay uh, in the Cheesehead organization. That's my teammate. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and you're playing your games in Green Bay also. <laughs> Enjoy. I thought we were in the board of punches. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I know, even though he's the real captain. It depends which captain you ask. Your team is in total disarray, Jimmy. <laughs> turn on. Uh, team lines are on. blowing up, Bob. We got we to gotta move All on. All right, man. we got to go, but we expect big things Good out call, of you, Jimmy. Good call, Jimmy. Good call. Thank you. T-shirt, right? Yeah. yeah, you get the T-shirt. Yeah, it's coming in the mail. Don't worry. <laughs> I give it extra large, right? Later, All right, Bob. All right, can we help you? Okay, this is Chucky from Brooklyn. I'm out of here. Chucky, I'm out. Chucky. I'm out. Is this about uh, Douglas or is it about the league? Uh, I'm trying to get a t-shirt. Do you have a t-shirt for me? Uh, <laughs> you were the sixth caller. You missed it. Oh, boy. Uh, you took the call from Jimmy Malak instead of me? He's a lot bigger than you. You know what I'm saying? Triple XL. Triple XL. I'm loving the show. I'm loving the podcast. And I'm very excited about the upcoming season, fellas. What do, you, what do you think so far? We, uh, I mean, Did you pretty much agree with our uh, predictions? Or you, you see other things? Uh, look. I think, you know, predictions, you know, last year they predicted that Insane would not make the playoffs, so so much for predictions. Right. Uh, Chucky. On another note, uh, I guarantee that next year I will be drafted in one of the top five pitchers. I'm going to go over there and get the top five pitchers at the age of 59. Chucky, what do you think of my prediction that you're going to move yourself to first base before the end of the year? First base or shortstop, either one. Okay. <laughs> You could. You might have to. We've seen you play. That's what Ali said he's going to do, so we thought Ali could do it, you know. We'll give it a shot. Chuck, you got a, you got a great... Uh, we're really excited to grab the infusion of the Brooklyn guys. I mean, it's really one of the more exciting years at the uh, YMSL in the last 10 years, i got to say. Yeah, no, it's going to be an exciting year. And uh, your team, uh, as we mentioned, a lot of young athletes and uh, speed. Should be an exciting team, so uh, we look well, that's forward to it. The league, Bobby. You really did a great job of turning over, you know, the Thank veterans, you. myself excluded from that conversation. <laughs> you know, I you throw me out, but uh, I think the league has really flipped to a bunch of eighteen to twenty-five year olds. I don't think that over twenty-five year old Wolfsburg team is going to have many more years left beating these young uh, studs. Nah, no, nah, it's football. yeah, it's football. Football. Too much talent over there, so... A lot of talent in the league. A lot of talent in the league, and as much to your credit, Bobby. I really appreciate everything you've done. Thank you, thank you. It's a good night, and we're looking forward to April 3rd. All right, thanks for the call. Thank you. Good luck, good luck. You better walk me, Douglas. A thousand percent. Back to the uh, over 25, under 25. All of the uh, quote-unquote top five pitchers, I believe, are way over 25. So until the younger generation is a young pitcher... Uh, I, think, I think the older group is still going to win. Leo and Matt Maxi. Maxi D. Yeah. Right. By the way, Bobby, another exciting thing this year uh, that we need to uh, announce. I guess you want to give the announcement. It's a huge announcement about the uh, YMSL. Uh, the gift shop. The gift shop. Yes. Yeah, so seeing the way they're fighting over that shirt, I mean, you know. We've we, this shirt this giveaway is, is like putting bread out on the beach and you see the, you see the vultures come to try <laughs> yeah. to grab it. We're giving we, uh, them one shirt here. Yeah. <laughs> The gift shop is expanded, and we signed a contract with Alyssa Milano. She has, uh, you know, the uh, right. MLB. MLB. So uh, she's going to be uh, wearing some of our product. And uh, not only do we have T-shirts, uh, we have hoodies. We're going to have caps and uh, all types of stuff. Fans or no fans? Uh, well, listen. You know, just, like the, uh, just like the Gatorade was kosher, I believe all the apparel is city yeah. used by yeah. the... Uh, uh, shot is free. Shot it's free. all shot is free. <laughs> Oh, uh, we got. Uh, we well, let's see what we got here. Hi, can we help you? Yes, hi. It's uh, Leo Captain from uh, New Saint. Insane. Leo. Another new, another new pitcher. Leo Cassin, one of the rookie pitchers, that actually second year pitcher. How are you, Leo? I'm very good, thank you. Um, I just want to. I just want to say I'm very excited for this season. Um, I'm up for the challenge. I'm very excited with my team. I. I'm really predicting far to the playoffs. 
Uh, Leo, anybody that's looking at your team says, oh, you have Mara Shama, Jaime Shama, Sammy Towel, uh, Jack Jamal, Ike Jamal, all these great players, and they're all saying the biggest question mark is right there on the pitcher's mound, Mr. Leo Kasson. What do you have to say to that? Uh, I can't say I blame them. It's a tough uh, league, but um, they, they're just going to have to wait and see. I'm confident with myself. Uh, I've been practicing. Well, as everyone knows, and I'm just really very excited for this season. Leo, let me ask you, so you played, uh, you were a pitcher three years at Hillel, right? Or two years? Uh, since uh, ninth grade. Uh, uh, so, you had the, your coach was one of the best uh, YMSL pitchers of all time. Did he help you out in your pitching uh, over the years? Uh, yeah, he did help me out. Also, uh, uh, Rishby, Michael Rishby helped me out my first year, uh, ninth grade. He was my head coach, and he actually told me how to pitch. Uh-huh. So, you're not, so not, not too much with David Gindy, it was more Michael Rishti? Well, David Gindy helped me develop. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, now, yeah, he, he was great help. So, you're actually on a great team, a uh, veteran team, and a lot of uh, playoff experience on the team, so I guess all you got to do is hold your part to take him to the promised land. Yeah, like I said, your, your, your ERA was under two. I took a, took a look online today. How did you hear that? I he said, said you, that your ERA was under two at Hillel. My ERA was not under two. My on that ERA website was, it was. Uh, maybe 600, huh? <laughs> no, your batting average. No, no, your earned yeah, run yeah, average, yeah, not yeah, your yeah, batting yeah. average. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the Douglas gave you a couple of opportunities last year. You should be thankful that you got this uh, full-time gig. <laughs> yeah, so it's the All right, Leo. Good luck, and uh, we hope to see you in the postseason. Thank you. Okay. Right, good luck. Good luck. Well, the, uh, I think he's going to hold the, his end. I he's a good pitcher. I got to tell you, Bob. I think we had a uh, good, good little batch of callers. I think this live format is uh, is working out beautifully here. Yeah. No. This is, the people definitely uh, want to speak their mind. Right. And uh, th thankfully nobody was too upset with some of the predictions. Well, this, uh, the pitcher not, not listed in the top five, David Azer, is, is clearly upset and uh, has yeah. a lot to prove this well, year. Well, I mean, guess. listen, uh, for a guy who's pitched six games in his career, you can't expect to be mentioned in the top five right off the bat. Right. So he's got, he's got a, the opportunity this year to pitch and, uh, you know, the ball's in his court, so to speak. So we'll see what he uh, does. Right. And um, mm -hmm. so I think uh, that's pretty much it's it for uh, this show. Long format today. I'd like to thank our producers, Ricky and Albert Tao, for uh, putting this production together. And um, Thanks you know, to all the callers for calling in. Yeah, great calls. And uh, opening day is in a few weeks. Uh, we're Can't wait. finalizing the date and the schedule's coming out. So uh, we'll get back to our regular weekly format after that. Yep. I'm very excited for this year. A lot of new players. We'll see how they play. We'll see how the league uh, reacts to all this new blood. Um, but I, I think it's going to be the best year ever. I think last year was the best year ever, and this year is going to top it. Yeah. We won't go into detail, but we'll just do uh, quickly who do you think your champions are going to be. You go first. Well, I think we should exclude our own teams. Uh, well, you, your team wouldn't win anyway, but I think we should exclude our own team so it becomes a more legitimate uh, analysis. Um, okay, I. Who do you think? You go first. I need to. I need to look at this real quick to see who I think. Uh, I'm going to say, um, if I had to pick, I'm going to go with uh, either Yadid or uh, Jack Abadi's team. So I'm going to Jackie Tal or Jack Abadi. That's what I like it. And uh, I'm going really with the, Jack Abadi's team actually. I'm going with Moses and Saban as uh, the champions this year, um, excluding my own team, of course. Uh-huh. Right. Phone lines are closed. Yeah. Oh. Well, take one take more call. One, one, one more call.